Well, are you in the middle of a move, planning one, or in the process of unpacking? It can be overwhelming, but don't worry, Moore's the organizing expert is here with a few tips to help the whole process go smoothly. Hi, I'm Vicki Norris, organizing expert and life reclaimist of Restoring Order. Today we're meeting John and Laura Lee Haken, California transplants who found themselves upon their move to Oregon buried in 35 years of belongings. Let's see how Restoring Order helped them get settled in. Okay guys, so when you first moved in here, you tried. I mean, you had the movers bring in all these boxes and then you tried to tackle it yourself. How was that? Overwhelming. Yeah. Totally overwhelming. It's no. just so much stuff. Did your son get involved? Your family try to help well, it all? Well, luckily, my son and, and his family drove up to see our new house, and I was able to draft him into some <laughs> of the unpacking. Uh, and we had this room filled with shelves that I got out of the garage. We unloaded box after box and just piled things up to the ceiling. Yeah, and you got to get everything out of the boxes, but then pretty soon it starts to grow, and that gets really overwhelming. So when you're moving in, set up your most important public space and private space. Now, right now, we're in the family room, and this was a very important spot for you guys. All of life was happening here, except for the fact that you were buried in a few boxes. Yes, when we moved in here, <laughs> I remember two months after we moved in, sitting on that couch over there, and I looked at all these boxes. We had 300 boxes, 20,000 pounds of stuff, 35 years of marriage, kids stuff, and I just started crying. And it gets paralyzing because it, all you can do is you just start pecking at the problem without a little direction and a bigger plan. So we sent in our organizer, Elaine, mm -hmm. for this project, and she came in. And how did she help you manage this room and others as far as the process goes? So how did she help you make sense of things in this room? Well, we started by prioritizing things, um, opening boxes, figuring out where we wanted to put our belongings, what belongings we no, no longer needed or liked, um, things we wanted to donate, and um, really breaking down the process into smaller steps that were just much easier to manage. And now for a very popular private space in the home, the bedroom, and Elaine told you to, it's time to give yourself a place of your own, right? Yes, it is. So then when you moved here, you got this beautiful bedroom and all the boxes landed in here. And so you wanted this respite, but that's not exactly what you were left with after the movers left. No, it wasn't. No. It was it was pretty bad. We had to dig through boxes to get clothes and dig through boxes to find toothbrushes and toothpaste and it was just it was a big mess. Well, we started with our closet. We mm -hmm. unboxed all of our clothes, hung up all of our clothes, separated out the closet into where our shoes would go and where John's clothes would go, where my clothes would go, and that was a really good start. So you were able to actually simplify the things that were going on in this room, down yes. to things that you really loved. And then you created a seating area so that in the morning you could relax and enjoy this room too. Well, I hope you've got some great ideas. If you're in the middle of a move, or even if you've settled in and you just find things a little bit overwhelming, Restoring Order was able to help this California transplant make this house a home. Thanks, Vicki. Well, if you need help getting organized, we have a link to get a hold of Vicki on our website, kptv.com slash more GDO.